The GCC healthcare sector is an $80 billion industry. But in recent decades, it has mainly focused on looking after people when they get sick, rather than monitoring people's health and lifestyle in order to prevent them from getting ill in the first place. Dubai-based Asta DM Healthcare is one of the biggest healthcare providers in the region. It recently set up an innovation and research center in a bid to use modern technological advances such as AI, cognitive psychology, blockchain and behavioral economics to help promote the use of healthcare instead of sick care. Welcome to the latest edition of the Arabian Business Enterprise Innovation Series in association with UPS. So we're very excited about our new innovation and research lab. Uh, there is a lot of very exciting things happening in healthcare, but it is important for us to understand what actually will work. So the whole idea about the innovation lab is with the, uh, with the 20 million patients that we see annually, how is it that we can make their lives better? How is it that we can make people healthier or make the, uh, make the entire journey and the experience better for them. So the idea of the Innovation Center is understand usability, understand patient preference, understand how people experience things and help them uh, curate an experience which will be better for them. So there is a lot of testing of new technology that is going on which should enable people to get better outcomes. So convenience is another huge benefit that technology will bring in. So people will not have to go, some, they, they will not have to wait on a phone for 20 minutes, 10 minutes to get an appointment with a doctor. Uh, after they see a doctor, and even seeing a doctor will happen at the comfort of their own home where they should be able to connect with their phone or their laptop. And once they've seen the doctor, if there is a requirement for medication, those medications should come home to you and you shouldn't have to go anywhere. So the entire circle of primary care actually should be done at the comfort of your own house. So that will actually make things so much more accessible, so much more convenient, and it will actually mean that it becomes cheaper as well. What we're typically seeing is technology changing the way uh, surgeries are done. You've got things like robotics, which has come in, which helps you have more precision, which helps faster recovery, you so saw better clinical outcomes. But the biggest shift that we're actually seeing for the future is moving from the sick care to healthcare. Because typically what's happening right now is that you fall ill uh, or you break something and then you go for some episodic management. But what we are trying to see, what everyone's seeing and the shift that needs to happen is how do you actually protect what you have, how do you maintain what you have and how do you improve your health as is. So I think the biggest innovation that we would like to see happening is the shift back to homes of people. Because what used to happen was that earlier, if you go back centuries, people, the doctors would go over to the homes of people to see when they're sick. But as technology evolved and you had these large machines like CT scans, MRIs come in, you saw a shift where people had to go back from uh, from their homes to a hospital. They had to build brick and mortar buildings which would house these machines because you couldn't replicate it and take these across to people's home and people move towards the hospital for care. But now the shift that is very important for us to make is go back to the homes of people or to the person itself because your body is your most important real estate. How are you gonna look after it? So what we see is wearables giving very important information. E even if it is uh, uh, just interesting to see how your Fitbit or your Apple Watch is tracking your movement, your sleep, how many steps you're doing, those are very valuable data. So that information, when you connect it to how much you're sleeping, what you're eating, um, the quality of your sleep, how much movement you're making, that actually is, is what taking care of your health really means. So that information and that counseling and that health coaching is what is going to make the difference in taking care of your health. 